In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on October 27, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for this game. So, two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NF game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Baltimore Ravens vs. Tampa Bay Buccaneers Week 8 of the NFL season gets underway with an interconference clash between a pair of teams that most would have expected to be much better than we've seen so far down in the Sunshine State. The Baltimore Ravens are on the road as they travel to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thursday night football. Baltimore held on to beat Cleveland 23-20 at home Sunday, though they failed to cover as a six-and-a-half point favorite. Tampa Bay continued to sputter offensively as they were down 21-3 on the road by Carolina Sunday, losing outright as a 13-point favorite. In the all-time regular season series, the Ravens own a 4-2 advantage and have taken the last four meetings. That includes a 20-12 triumph at home in the most recent matchup on December 16, 2018. The Baltimore Ravens have split their last 10 road games. The Baltimore Ravens are 4-3 this season after they defeated the Cleveland Browns by a score of 23-20 in their last game. Baltimore has alternated wins and losses every game this season so far. Baltimore was outgained by a total of 336 to 250. But forced two turnovers and held Cleveland to 2 to 11 on third down attempts. The Baltimore offense is averaging 26 points per game with 189.7 passing yards per game and 156.3 rushing yards per game. Lamar Jackson has thrown for 1,397 yards, 13 touchdowns, and six interceptions, while also rushing for 510 yards and two touchdowns for the Ravens this season. Kenyon Drake has rushed for 189 yards and one touchdown while Mark Andrews has caught 39 passes for 455 yards and 5 scores for Baltimore. The Baltimore defense is giving up 23 points per game and 366.4 yards per game. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won 8 of their last 11 home games. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 3-4 this season after they lost to the Carolina Panthers by a score of 21-3 in their last game. Tampa Bay gained 322 total yards, but was only able to score 3 points after going 2-12 on third down and 1-3 on fourth downs in the game. The Tampa Bay offense is averaging 18 points per game with 266.1 passing yards per game and 64.4 rushing yards per game. Tom Brady has thrown for 1,942 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 1 interception for the Buccaneers this season. Leonard Fournette has rushed for 362 yards and 1 touchdown, while Mike Evans has caught 33 passes for 454 yards and 3 scores for Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay defense is allowing 18 points per game and 308.3 yards per game. The Ravens are 16-33-3 against the spread in their last 52 games in October and 0-3-1 against the spread in their last four games overall. The Buccaneers are 0-4 against the spread in their last four home games and 0-5 against the spread in their last five games overall. The under is 4-0 in Ravens' last four games overall. The under is 6-1 in Buccaneers' last seven games overall. The road team is 5-0 against the spread in their last five meetings. The Baltimore Ravens have the fifth best running game in the NFL led by quarterback Lamar Jackson, who has rushed for more than 500 yards and the passing game is good enough to keep opposing defenses honest. Baltimore is giving up a bit too much on defense, allowing 23 points per game, but will face a struggling Tampa Bay offense that is scoring an average of only 18 points per game. Tampa Bay has scored more than 21 points just once this season when losing to Kansas City 41-31. Tampa Bay is 1-4 straight up over the last five, and during that span is 0-5 against the spread. The Buccaneers have failed to cover the spread in each of the last four games played at home in Raymond James Stadium. Tampa Bay quarterback Tom Brady has only eight touchdown passes through seven games and the Buccaneers have the league's worst running game, averaging just 64.4 yards per game on the ground. 
To say the least, this one is strange. Baltimore has blown double-digit leads in each of its three losses this season, including two 17-point leads at home. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay has only scored one touchdown in the last nine quarters and has lost four of their last five games. They stumbled through a stretch against the Falcons, Steelers, and Panthers, going 1-2, and Brady is on the verge of only his second three-game losing streak in his career, his first since 2002. I get why you'd lean toward the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the underdog role as they play their best ball at home. They're desperate, and simply they're at home with a quick turnaround. The Baltimore Ravens also scare the hell out of me with how they constantly blow fourth quarter leads. With that said, there's no way I can get behind the Buccaneers, a team that's lost back-to-back -back games to the Steelers and Panthers, two of the worst teams in the league. The Bucs are getting nothing from their offense that's 25th in scoring, and now the defense is starting to get gashed against the run. After being thrashed by a pair of Carolina secondary running backs, there's nothing to like about the Buccaneers right now, even at home. Tampa Bay's offense is stuck in neutral, so Baltimore Baltimore should rely heavily on the ground game. I have no choice but to side with the Baltimore Ravens. So the Baltimore Ravens to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Baltimore comes into this game having seen the under hit in five of their seven games this season. The Ravens have stayed under the mark in two of their three road games on the year, combining with the Jets for 33 points, 44 points in the Giants game, and going over in the New England game as they combined for 63 points against a 45 and a half point number. Tampa Bay has stayed under the total in six of their seven games this season entering this game. The Buccaneers have stayed under in two of three home games on the season as they combined for just 26 points in their game with Green Bay and 36 points in the Atlanta game this season. Their loan over on the year came in a 41-31 loss to Kansas City where the 72 combined points blew past the number of 47 and a half points. Tampa Bay scored only three points in its most recent loss to Carolina this past Sunday when a total of 20 four points was scored in a loss to Carolina. Tampa Bay has scored an average of only 14 points over its last three games played. Baltimore holds its own on offense with the fifth best scoring average but is allowing only 23 points per game. The total has finished under in 13 the last 18 games that Baltimore has played on the road and in each of Baltimore's last four games overall. In addition, the total has finished under in six of Tampa Bay's last seven overall. With the way both teams have stayed below the number this season, coupled with Baltimore's pension to grind the clock and Tampa Bay's weak offensive production. This game wins short of the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.